the permeability of substances across the cell membrane is dependent on their solubility in lipids and not on their molecular size water soluble compounds are generally impermeable and require carrier mediated transport an important function of their membrane is to withhold unwanted molecules while permitting entry of molecules necessary for cellular metabolism and in this particular video lecture we shall be learning about the facilitated diffusions from the word you can see the diffusion word is adhered to the concept but you need a carrier molecule for this particular purpose in this gif animation you can see red balls like glucose or any other important molecule that has to be taken inside the cell but it is not permitted to cross the lipid bilayer membrane so this is a carrier mediated process so if you want to understand the facilitated diffusion the word facilitated means it is aided or helped by some molecules let's study about the properties of facilitated diffusions it's very similar to the enzyme substrate interaction for example you have a enzyme or proteins and it is interacting with the substrate that you want to take inside so it has a same property of those things similar v max so carrier mechanism could be saturated which is similar to the v max of the enzyme and can be saturated with a similar to the v max of the enzyme uh, for for say the binding constant of the solute may be calculated uh, to similar to the km of the enzyme means you can take the equations like v of equals to v max into s uh, divided by km plus s so this equation is uh, fitting to the entire concept so they say the binding constant of the solute may be calculated similar to the km of the enzymes second comparative inhibition may happen it means if some molecules looking very similar we'll take white color so if it is looking very similar it will competitively inhibit if the solute concentration is low for the yellow one and inhibitor is more in concentration it can inhibit the process it can be bidirectional but most of the cases in ping pong state it is unidirectional but it can be it's a conditional atp is not at all required for the entire process but remember this rate of facilitated diffusion is more than the normal rate of the diffusion and concentration gradient it's a very important factor so these are the five most important feature that actually define the facilitated diffusions now let's see the things this is a, one uh, original photography or, or you can say the model taken from a research article please do remember glucose can enter inside the cell because it can't pass the lipid bilayer in two different ways one by facilitated diffusions another by a way called as a symporter that is sodium aided sodium glucose symporter so with the help of glucose transporter glucose can enter inside the cell that's it that is a similar to the fast diffusions because glut4 glut5 that we did discuss in the last video glucose can be taken in one direction without the help of any other molecule that is one diffusion process faster diffusions and symporter is also a functional process to take the glucose so here you can see they have written red color will be better glucose transporter are found in the plasma membrane where they can bind to the glucose enable the transport across the bilayer they can divide it into two classes just we have been talking about this one glucose uh, sodium glucose co transporter co transport means a symport because both of them is moving in the same direction sodium and glucose both moving in the same direction inside the cell so it is called as a sglts sodium glucose co transporter or symporter and another way facilitate facilitative glucose transporter with the help of glutes or glucose transporter example with elaborations glucose transporter are a wide group of membrane proteins it is not nuclear or cytoplasmic that facilitate the transport of the glucose across the membrane the process is called the facilitated diffusions because glucose is vital source of energy for all the life that is why it is very important for a particular cell if there is a mutation in the glut4 
or in other situation you can see how insulin influence it so you may have a different disease like diabetes mellitus like that so these transporter are present in all phyla it is a omnipresent and glut or SLC2A family are the protein family that is found in the most mammalian cells also glutes are encoded 14 glutes are encoded by the human germ this is general information they have given and glute uh, is a type of unipod so normally it uh, is a unidirectional it can be a conditional bidirectional but unipod means in one direction the molecule will move so it is the simple uh, way to understand and uh, same concept you can apply here for the ping pong mechanism in the pong state you can see glucose bind with the active domain active pocket of the enzymes and it will be changing the enzyme conformation so that it will change its conformation like it's open mouth to this side uh, outside it's having an open mouth like structure now it will change inside will be open so it will receive the molecule so the carrier molecule can exist in two conformation ping and pong state in the pong state active sites are exposed to the exterior where the solute will bind to the specific site there is a conformation change that will happen and one more important thing that you should note uh, concentration gradient base uh, these things will happen and it is mostly irreversible process so in the pink state you can see where the low solute concentration is there that will be the direction of the movement so it will always pass the molecule from the high to low concentration because it is required in that way you need the glucose to have inside the cell so this is the basic general co concept of uh, facilitated diffusion with the example of glucose transporter i hope this video will help you to understand the concept thanks for watching